Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use Skyslope Forms as a replacement to Zip Forms. To start, you're going to want to log into Skyslope. From here, you're going to click on Apps in the top right corner. You're going to click on Forms. If this is your first time logging into Skyslope Forms, it's going to ask for some information first. The first question is what region. You're just going to need to select Indiana. Next, it's going to ask you what association you belong to. It should list the IAR and you're just going to hit add to the right of that. Next, it's going to ask for your last name and your NRDS number. If you don't know your NRDS number, there is an option to look it up at the bottom. Once you've plugged in all of that information, it's going to find your record. You're going to hit add and then it should take you to this home screen. I believe it pops up with a tutorial video of Skyslope Forms. I recommend that you watch this as it'll take you through a brief overview of the different features. Once you're done watching it, join me back here at the main screen. To start, I'm going to walk you through how to create some templates. So we're going to click on templates in the top left corner. We're going to create, click on create template. To start, we can start with a buyer's template. And hit next. Now it's asking what forms you need to add. So we require six documents on the buy side. The purchase agreement, copy of earnest money, pre-approval letter or proof of funds, the BLC sheet, the seller's disclosure form, and our office policy. Most of these documents you're going to get from your client or from the other agent. So the only ones we really need to add are the purchase agreement, improved property and we're going to click add and then the only other really other document we really need to add is our office policy but that's going to be an external document that we're going to have to upload directly to the template <laughs> directly to the template <laughs> um, so down here you can see which forms you added and we're going to hit continue now it's asking you to name your template you can name it buyer's template or purchase template, whatever makes sense to you. Now you'll see the purchase agreement has popped up here. Next, we're going to want to upload documents. So we're going to add that office policy. But first, if you don't have this on your dashboard already, you're going to want to open a new tab and go to the agentlocker.com. You're going to click on market document libraries, Indiana. Then you're going to add our buyer's office policy. You're going to want to download this and save it to your computer. And then we're going to go back to Skyslope Forms. From here at the bottom, we're going to click Upload Documents. And I believe we can just drag and drop it. We're going to select Done. So now you should have your purchase agreement and your office policy in here. Since this is a template, you can go ahead and add yourself as the listing broker. Um, so that way it remains consistent on all purchase agreements. When you click on this, it's going to pop up with a new tab to enter your information. At the bottom, it's going to ask for your license number, your MLS code, or your MyBoard number. The broker name, so High Garden Real Estate. Make sure High Garden is one word and the G is not capitalized. Our broker license number is capital CO1020085. And our MLS code is EZST01. Uh, keep in mind if you're at the Carmel office or the Plainfield office, the, it is either 02 or 03. From here, we're going to hit save. And then you'll see it'll auto -popul populate your information. If there's anything that you generally keep the same on all purchase agreements, 
um, like any parts of it. If you fill it out on the template, it will auto-save into um, future purchase agreements. Okay, we're going to click Save Template. Now we have our buyer's template. Now we're going to go through and create a listing template. We're going to click on Seller. It's asking what forms you need. On the selling side, we require four documents. It's the listing contract, the seller's disclosure form, the BLC sheet, and the office policy. So from here, we're going to add the listing contract. For, oops, for improved, click add. Next, we're looking for the seller's residential real estate disclosure. Oops, again, we're just going to click add. And then our office policy, but again, we have to do that. We have to add that as an external document. So we're going to click continue at the bottom. It's asking you to name this template. So you can name it seller's template. Again, we're going to upload the um, seller's office policy. So again, if you don't have it saved to your computer, you're going to have to go back to the locker, click on Market Document Libraries, select Indiana, and then this time select the seller's office policy. From here, we're going to download it, save it to your computer, and then we're going to go back to Skyslope Forms. We're going to click Upload Documents at the bottom, and we're going to drag and drop that document and click Done. Okay. Again, anything that you generally keep the same, if you fill it out on the template, it will auto-save. Um, again, we're going to want to add the agent information in Highgarden, so if you click on this, it will auto-populate that box again to fill out your information. So it's just the same as last time. We're going to hit save. And then it auto populates. Awesome. Good to go. We're going to hit save template at the bottom. Now we have both templates created. So now I'm going to walk you through how to create a file and do the e-signature. So at the top, we're going to click on files. We're going to do create new file. It's asking you who is your client. Um, so if, just for the sake of this, we'll just do a buyer. We'll fill out your client's information. Um, I do like to point out that there is this import MLS option. So if the home is in the MLS, you can click on this. You can search it by number um, and it will pop up and auto populate some of that information for you. But for now, I'm just going to stick with 123 Main Street. It's asking how do you want your file to be named. Um, so I'm going to keep it by address. And then it's asking if I want to use a template. So I'm going to use the buyer's template I just created. We're going to click Create. Oh, that's because I've been messing around in here. showing what forms. So we can open up the purchase agreement. You'll see it started to auto populate some of that information. And this is where you're going through and actually filling it completely out. Click save and exit at any point. And we also have the office policy here. If you so once you have it filled out and you're ready to send it for signature, you can select both of these. And we're going to hit fill and send. So we're done with this. You'll notice over here on the left though that the purchase agreement and the office policy are there so I can send them both at the same time to my client. We're gonna click on prepare signature. It's asking who needs to sign. So my client needs to sign and I don't need to sign. Um, if I did need to sign though, I could do this. I could also do receive the copy. So for the sake, we'll do that. We'll hit the next. Now it's creating an envelope through DigiSign. Okay. 
from here, you can go to page eight, and it should auto-populate um, where your client needs to sign and date. Now, the office policy, though, it will not do that because we had to add that document externally from the locker. So we just need to mark it up. Um, so keep in mind which signer you're using. For this one, we only have one. So I'm going to click on John. I'm going to click this little initial box, and I'm going to pop it right here. Adjust accordingly. Okay, and then I'm going to scroll down. He needs to initial here as well. And then I'm going to scroll to the very bottom, click on Signature. I'm going to click on Full Name. And I'm going to click on Date. Shrink that down a little bit. There we go. Once you have it all marked up how you need it, then you just click Send, and it will go off to your client. For me, I'm just going to exit. Now, um, if I had actually sent it, I'm back at the home page under files, if I had actually sent this, it would show that I have an envelope here. I can click into that envelope and I can check the status of um, my client signing it and um, then I can also see once it's complete. So that's basically how to create an envelope and send it for signatures. Now to link it with your Skyslope file, we're going to click back on apps and we're going to go back to Skyslope. You're going to click create new transaction. I have admin view so we're going to do create new transaction and then instead of address lookup we're going to click on Skyslope forms and this is where we're going to add that template we already created. So just the same way you always do Skyslope, you're filling out all the red asterisks. contacts. So again, you can jump between these tabs. So we're going to click on purchaser. All they're asking for is his number. We're going to hit save. Next, we're going to click on title. Representing the other side, we'll use title. Save. And then lender, it's just asking for this information. Once you have all three of, or all four of those turned to green check marks, we're going to hit submit. From here, it's asking you the commission information. So how much commission are you getting? Hopefully 3%. There is information, or a spot here for referral information, and there's a spot for additional commission information. So if there's ever anything special about the commission on a certain transaction, you need to make sure you leave a comment here so that way the accounting department knows. So for example, maybe I'm going to cover the $199 office fee for my, for my client. So here I'm just going to type agent covering $199 fee. Hit save comment. That way the accounting department knows to deduct it from my commission. Once you have everything filled out here, we click submit again. Now it takes you to the checklist where you upload those documents. If you, if I had actually sent the envelope and received back those documents, if you click on the documents tab right here, they will appear here. From there, all you need to do is select them, click the assign button, 
and then it will give you the drop down menu for what document is that is it that you're assigning it to. So for example, I would click on the purchase agreement, I would click assign, and then I would select the purchase agreement from the drop down menu. Then it will automatically upload it right here to the checklist. And that's really all you have to do. Um, everything else is pretty much the same. Obviously, if something gets rejected, you need to fix it um, based on whatever reasoning that will be left here in the comments. Um, you don't need to notify anyone that you upload it. And um, just make sure you have all your documents in. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Um, my email is mmiley at highgarden.com. My cell phone number is 812-212-8093. Um, I think this is a really great feature. I'm really excited to be getting away from zip forms um, and using it all in Skyslope. So I hope you are too. Thanks.